Okay, magandang araw mga Morpheans. So, isa sa mga hindi natin na-discuss last time is, kasi wala nating oras, is yung pag-convert nga ng Kevin into Norton. So, pag meron ako ditong Kevin uh, na circuit, I already have my VTH and my RTH connected to a load RL, which is my RTH. This is my VTH. So, how do I convert this into Norton? So, the idea really is gagamit tayo ng source transformation na concept. So, sa, tra sa source transformation na concept, yung voltage source mo and series resistance is pwede mo makonvert into current source and a parallel resistance. So, the idea is ganito. Kung meron akong voltage source and a series resistance connected to a circuit or a load, pwede ko siyang makonvert into a current source and a shunt resistance. So, kung paano ko yan gawin is ituturo natin. Okay? So, if this is V, S, and this is R, to create the IS, all you have to do is to divide your VS with your R. And that becomes your IS. And whatever is your R, you just simply need to carry it here. So, ganun lang siya ka. Simple. So, kung halimbawa, meron na tayong uh, RTH and VTH, connected to the load using the transformation uh, concept pwede natin i-convert yung Tevinin to Norton and yung sabi ko last time is napaka-importante yung susi nito is yung relationship ni RTH is equal lang kay RN so if I want to transform this uh, voltage source with a series resistance into current source and shunt resistance then it would look like this so this would be my current source now and this would be my parallel resistance Sh should be connected to your load so ngayon this current source becomes your IN and this uh, shunt resistance becomes your RN which basically is equal lang kay RTH so, based on the voltage uh, or source transformation concept natin, to convert a voltage source and a series resistance into a current source and parallel resistance, all we have to do is to divide this voltage source with this series resistance and that becomes your current source. And whatever is the series resistance, we just simply need to carry it as your shunt resistance. So, ang dali na lang. So, ibig sabihin, I can solve IN as my... VTH over RTH and, and to solve for my RN I should just carry whatever is the value of RTH So see, ang dali na lang huh? So paano naman ngayon kung galing ka sa Norton tapos ikakonvert mo sa Tevinin So ngayon, we will talk about the transformation naman of a current source into a voltage source. So, kung meron tayong current source with a parallel resistance, all we can do here is gagawa ng voltage source and a series resistance. So, kung paano ito gagawin is actually napaka-simple lang. So, this can be transformed to a voltage source with a series resistance just by rewriting it to like this. Ganyan. So, this will now be my voltage source and this will be my series resistance. But the question is, how do I get the voltage source? So, actually, it's not very simple. My new voltage source now is equal to the current source here times the shunt resistance or the parallel resistance. That is now the value of my voltage source. And whatever is this resistance right here, you simply need to carry it right there. So, if I will convert a Norton into a Thevenin, then I could simply redraw it into a voltage source 
but no longer a parallel resistor but instead a series resistor and how do i get this vth now it's simple see it's i times r if i have an i n i have an r n so i could simply use i n times r n and whatever is my r n i could simply just put it here as my r th then that becomes a thevenin so i have now a norton going to thevenin